<sighs> I want to point out, because <laughs> I yawned again, that wasn't intentional. I have a tendency of yawning whenever I get super nervous. So whenever I, I record a video, I always get nervous for, oh, hold on. For some reason, I don't know. It's just very nerve wracking to express my thoughts and opinions in the internet. <laughs> that's uh, that's completely off topic. Uh, who should you be pulling for in the upcoming 2.1 patch? That's what we're gonna be ta talking about. We're gonna be splitting this video into two categories, offensive and defensive characters, since that's literally the whole patch, right? Acheron and Jing Liu, uh, Luotra and Arventuring. So, I hope his name is Arventuring. I don't know if I'm pronounced b butchering that, right? Okay, yeah, it is. Okay, uh, with all that being said, let's get into it. You know, as usual, like, subscribe, comment. If you're a new viewer, definitely subscribe. And just know that I reply to any comment regardless of the topic, right? Just don't be, you know, weird. No offense. <laughs> um, and I'm not sure if I stated this, but I have a stuttering problem. It's very abundantly clear to anyone who watches my videos for more than 10 seconds, no, five seconds. It's just that bad. I'm improving time by time, but yeah, with all that being said, bear with me and let's get in, into it. So, we're going to be talking first about the offensive characters, that being Acheron and Jing Lu, right? I think it really narrows down to how long you've been playing the game for uh, and what who you are already have set in stone and what's your goal, right? If you're just playing the game to play the game for funsies, then honestly, who gives a fuck about who you summon for? Just pull to pull for fun, right? But if you're a meta player like myself, then I think this video is more for you, right? And this topic is more for you, right? And if you're thinking about becoming a meta player, definitely watch the video. <laughs> so, Acheron and Jinglu, they're both gonna, regardless, they're both gonna be the top one, top two DPS in the game, right? It's 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 just it's no contest. I'm sorry for all you Dan Dan Daniel mains, but Daniel is only good because of Sparkle. All right, if we're talking in a free to play standpoint without Sparkle, he goes back to S tier. <laughs> um, so let's talk about Jing Lu first and why you would want to summon for her, and then we're going to Acheron. Jing Lu is she has a lot of cons to her. And pros, I mean, a, a lot of pros coming to her and some cons that are coming and uprising, right? Jing Liu, in my opinion, is the best DPS character in the game. But as the game progresses, things will change. And I feel like that won't be the case for any longer, right? Especially in 3.0, whenever three, whenever the, the 3.0 patch comes along, she, yeah, there's just, she, she will be good. She will be the next Zila. So that's, that's for sure, right? And if you like Zila, then <laughs> and the way how that she's been aging, then I feel like Jing Liu is, is is for you. So then, with all that side talk uh, being said, let's get into the, the main points. Jing Liu is free to play friendly as fuck, and I mean in any type of situation and scenario that you could think think of, she's free to play fr friendly when you're building her teams right she's very team centric you throw on like pretty much any team she's free to play friendly in the relic department right because you can pretty much just equip any relic on her and it works regardless uh with pretty niche sub subsets because she busts herself so much right and pretty much it like oh my god why did i fuck pretty, pretty much it she you know clears everything she has the most damaging output right Jing Jinglu is free to play friendly in the team ca category because she could be easily paired with characters like Pe Pe Pella, fuck, and Ting 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 Young. She doesn't really have she doesn't have a designated team besides just buffer, and she does damage. And even if you don't buffer as much, she still does damage. She's just that good, right? Like my current Jing Jing Jinglu team is her Branya and Pella, but. Before I had my Branya built, I had her, Pella, and Ting Young. And in some cases, Ting Young is better than Branya, believe it or not, right? Um, she, she's just amazing, right? And the thing with Ting Young is that she gives you energy, which is which is what makes her so good and so friendly, regardless of who you're pulling for and summoning for, unless you're Acheron, because she doesn't have energy. So I will be talking about that when I talk about 
Acheron, right? Now let's talk about Jing Jing Jinglu in the the relic, right? The relic the department, right? Um, my Jinglu is kind of iffy with the relics. Actually, let me change them right now because this these aren't her her. Well, let me let me let me. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. This might take a tiny bit. Okay, there you go. All right. So as we see here, I literally have thirty crit rate. That is on any crit based character atrocious horrible the fucking worst right but since she gives herself 48 crit rate this is fine this is perfect this is ideal what this is what you would want you want to go for crit damage more than crit rate not there, there's not it's not actually no there's not a single character in the game that has that privilege yet right i feel like maybe in six months there there, there will be but currently no not that many characters can you know thrive off of 30 crit rate and do 400k at moc right or 300 300k free to play by the way e0 no you know light light cone right and uh, it's, it's just good you slap on literally any relic on on her like for instance like me i kind of just niche stats and on top of that she could both use the quantum relic set and the ice re relic set they're both super good for her right unlike Acheron so for Jing Jing and Lu I already put on like when, when I was built building her I already had some relics that I had pre previously when I was far farming for Z Zila's re relics and it just you know it fit like I haven't farmed I, I didn't farm from Jing for Jing Yu's Jing Lu's re relics until like Ron May came out because I was sitting at 210 crit damage and I, and I wanted a, a bit more and I gained 20 right 25 so she's very fr friendly but unfortunately she isn't as future proof like she's future proof but not too future proof because i feel like when harder content comes characters are going to be centered around that content and she won't perform as well as she is cur currently like for, for instance um the current moc you could still brute force your way through but over time you won't be able to do that right I want to point out I'm saving 11 and 12 for when Acheron comes out because that's going to be her, sh her showcasing. But look, one thing that people don't talk about is how MOC indirectly nerfs char char characters because of the recommended typing, right? I can't use Jing 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 Lu here. She could brute force her way through, but it wouldn't be as effective because there's no ice weakness here, right? but there is lightning but that's obviously because acheron's coming so they're gonna slap it more light lightning than anything else right but it's something that people don't talk about like again here yes there's ice ice so she she's effective here but not that effective right same thing with moc 10 she's effective but not that effective right i feel like that's something that people don't talk about a lot when they're giving their points that to me as a free to play it does come to my mind a lot because it's like damn break damage isn't in isn't a lot but it's enough to make a difference when you're breaking that character right plus it stalls the enemy it stops them from attacking you and it gives you extra time to kind of just plan a bit more right because brute forcing your way isn't always the best thing to do right um <laughs> damn I'm, I, I'm talking i am ranting eight minutes holy crap right um and on top of that, I think now is when we're going to go to the Acheron s section by ending it on this. Jing Lu isn't as future proof because she's practically capped out in supports. I said, I I'm saying practically because no matter what, every single Harmony character that comes out in the future buffs every single char 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 character. Fuck. No, no matter what, right? And Jing, Jing, Jing Lu's crit is very solid. So, with that being said, I personally feel like if you're a new player, Jing Lu is for you, right? If you're a character that's been playing for a while, like myself, and you skipped her for whatever reason, Acheron's for you. I feel like you should have the teams for Acheron, the characters for Acheron, and if not, then Jing Lu's for you, right? Um, even then, Acheron could still thrive with four, I mean, with four star ca characters like Pe Pella and Gwenaifen. Right, and obviously MC. I actually need to upgrade my MC, my fire M MC because of Acheron, because I do want to use her with a fire MC. Right. Um. With all that being said, 
let's get into Acheron's case. And I was having trouble explaining something in, I mean, for the cons in Jing, Jingdu that I will stay, state now. Uh, excuse me. In Acheron. Well, not now, but as I'm talking, right? Acheron brings a new playstyle to the game because she literally doesn't have energy. She has Oak Age, which is probably the biggest con that she has. But at the same time, not really. It's unique. But the reason why I'm saying that's kind of bad is because a free-to-play character like Ting, Ting Young, scratch it. You can't use her with, you know, Akron, unfortunately. Ca characters like Ho Ho, you could still use them. But one big thing about Ho Ho's kit is the fact that she gives you 20 energy on talent level 10, which does come in clutch. Unfortunately, if you're using Akron, that's not the case at all. And I want to point out something that not, not, that not that many <clears throat> fuck I'm, st I'm stuttering something that not that many people talk about is in simulated you universe the blessings that give you energy won't work for Acker one unfortunately which kind of sucks right but whatever that's just me because I grind G and G for fun for 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 fun funsies because I like seeing big numbers right and then on on top of that Acheron, she is a bit more limited oh. Fuck, I forgot to mention, Jing, Jing, Jing Lu also has a whole, the holy grail of light, light cones for, for her, unlike Acheron. Thank goodness I remembered that, I'm so sorry for side tra tracking, right? But I was about to talk about Acheron's L LCs, right? Acheron doesn't have that many L LCs going in for her, unfortunately, since she's a uh, Nihility character, which is bad, but not too bad, right? Obviously, you could just use Good Night Sleep, Sleep Well. And you're set, and I think it's void. It's void or hidden shadow, right? Uh, no, void is for black swan. It's hidden shadow, I believe. Hidden shadow or 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 loop. That's still good for Akron. And then obviously there's fermata, which is cool, but not too cool. If you're a, a free to play and you want a really good one, just get welt, right? Um, it does the, the job, right? It increases your attack by forty percent, which is pretty good if you ask me, right? Um, but as I was saying beforehand, her teams, she doesn't have that many teams compared to Jing Lu, which Jing Lu, you can just literally slap her on any team here and she will still perform. Like I've no joke user with, uh, Herda and what's her face? What's her face? Herda and there you go. Shui, Shui, Shui for funsies, but it didn't perform that well, but it still cleared MOC 10, which says a lot, right? <laughs> Um, it also does good in pure fiction. Not too good. Not with the Shui Shui build, but her and her though, right? But with Acheron, she is a bit more restricted, which is bad for now, but good in the future. Obviously, Star Rail, they're not going to release a character and that's it. They call it a day. Like, they haven't done that for any character at all. And if you're telling me I'm wrong, I'm sorry, but respectfully, you're fucking stupid, right? And we have Kafka as an example, right? Kafka came in the game when she first came. She was pretty fucking good, right? But she was missing some components, right? Who, who came in buffing Kaf, Kafka? Luqua, Gwenaifin, Ruan, Mei, Ho Ho, and Black Swan, making her the best DPS in the game. When she first came out, she was top three. She slowly got debunked as characters like Topaz, Argenti, Dong, Dong, Dong Hong, Blade, and what's her face again? Jing Jing Lu came, came came out, but then she got you know Ron Mei and Black Swan as GG. She's the the best, right? But <laughs> but oh wait, fuck! I, I don't know why I'm um, I'm saying but. With that being said, I feel like. Akron was going to be getting the same treatment. It's, it's just, it's just, it's just getting guaranteed. There's no way they're going to like release her and call it a day, not release a character that kind of buffs her and universally buffs any team you put that character in. For for example, again, uh, with Kafka's case, uh, when Black Swan came out, Black Swan was obviously centered towards Kafka. But if you're weird, you could summon for Black Swan and not have Kafka and still use her on many teams. Many of content cre cre creators have made it clear uh, you could use Black Swan and a DPS crit base sa sa sample. And it still does numbers a lot. You can use her with Luca and Gwenaifin and you will still hit numbers, right? Um, and that's my case for future characters that co comes out that buffs 
Acheron, but also could be run in a different team. But they just have a team that's more that that that's that's kind of centered around it. That that's more versatile for that character. I don't know if that's the proper word for it, but whatever, right? I I do want to first talk about the, the 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 team build, right? I didn't address why, but that's because this is the most thing that this is. The most commonly thing that's said that you need so, so silver and you need Pella and you can't use characters like Ting Ting Young, etc. etc. or Ho Ho, but it's whatever, right? For a free to play character, for the free fuck, for a free to play player, Acheron is an investment the way I see it, just like how Kafka was an investment for me when I first summoned, because what's stopping Hoyoverse from not? releasing other characters that buffs Acheron in the future or helps her become better obviously it's very unlikely but at the time that's what I thought with Kafka when I summoned for her I summoned for her because new play style and plus I mean it's Kafka lol <laughs> and babe I'm so sorry for watching this right um <laughs> I feel like a dick right but I mean come on and then as I said before characters can came out and it you know it, it, it's um it's crazy it's definitely crazy right sorry forgive me i was looking at something my girlfriend sent me it's like that's very coincidental very coincidental that i made Ac i mean the kafka statement anyways with that being said akron is a investment she will be buffed in the future she's already going to be top one or two she's she will be one in like two patches from now robin's coming out robin Will actually help her now that I think about it, now, now that I'm recalling her kit. Robin is gonna be the best, you know, harmony when she when, when she comes out, right? If you've seen the links, you've seen you seen the, the, the links. If you haven't, just know she will be. Trust me, she will be, right? Um and and currently people don't understand that Akron is a crit based character. Meaning you can still run her in a crit based team, you know, in a hyper carry team with Branya and Pella and call it a day. Or Sparkle if you have her, right? And call it a day. As simple as that. You can run her with Ronme, Branya, Pella, and her himself, right? And then I do want to talk about the relics as I did with Jing Jing Lu. Acheron is a 50-50 in the relic department. Because <laughs> I wanted to mention this, but at the same time I didn't. Let's um let's say Let's say this is Acheron right here, right? I have five crit rate. Let's say this is 50 crit rate, right? Because, uh, you know, the relics gave me 50 crit crit rate. You'll be fine with 50 crit rate and you can focus on anything else. The reason why I'm saying that is simply because if you're a character that, that's, that's been playing for a while, like myself, you probably have Fu Shuang, right? Fu Shuang buffs characters crit rate by 12 percent on talent le level 10. so then that is you know 50 plus 12 all right and then we have the new ornament set that's 12 percent crit rate buff if you have another character in the same path as you Acheron and pella right so you're gonna get buff that's another 12 percent and if you want to put in silver that's another 12 percent you'll be having roughly i'm not doing the math in my head, I'm just estimating, so please forgive me if I'm wrong. 70 to 80% crit rates, like 86 if I recall correctly. I'm pretty sure 86. You know what? I'm not going to do math. Math is training my fucking brain right now. But you would have roughly like 80 crit rate. That's crazy. If you have Sparkle, you're set. All right? Especially with her L L LC buff, right? I want to point that out because some people argue that she isn't relic friendly, which in my opinion, she's not. But at the same time, she is, right? She's not and is, like she she isn't and is at the same time, right? Um, and again, she's also an investment. So lol, right? Like for for instance, this is how my current Acheron would look like, cause the gear that I have on ratio. Okay, not this one, but there you go. This is how my Acheron will look like. Let's just actually switch this. So we're not getting any crit rate buff. Boom. My Acheron's at 49 crit rate. Basically 50 with 170, I mean 160 crit damage. Her light cone gives me a 36 crit rate buff. And 
and I'll definitely be investing in the ornaments more because let me actually remove the ornaments because this isn't for my Akron. I'll be farming the new ornament set. So this is how my Akron would look without the ornaments. I'll be obviously focusing on crit damage on the or ornaments, right? And I'm the, the, the reason why I'm bringing this up is because Akron could become free to play friendly in the relic department if you're smart with how you build her in the relic department, right? But for the most part, she isn't. If you're a free to play player, you probably won't take any of this into consideration. I mean, if you're a newer free to play player, you probably won't take this into consideration because it's too much and it could be overwhelming with everything else that you have to do, right? So that's why that's kind of where the that's kind of where my claims kind of get thrown out the window because it's like, oh yeah, but whatever for newer players. But for players that aren't new, then I feel like you should take this into consideration, right? On why she's kind of like friendly for us but at the same time not really right and as i said before right i'm kind of repeating myself but i want to make it abundantly clear to myself and to you guys that i am saying this she will be top two or top one when she comes out she's only going to get better as more characters release we're not staying in this hyper carry meta dual tps meta dot meta um we're not staying in this me me meta. We're going to bloom and blossom into a new meta. Fuck, I am stuttering because I'm thinking. Um, <laughs> I hate thinking, right? Uh, and Acheron is the start to that, right? She has an old cage. So, with that being said, characters, I bet your ass characters in, in the future will come out and they will support her. Not Maybe not in the old cage department, but in the way she works, the debuffing department, the damage boosting department i bet your ass there's going to be a character that's like oh if you have another nihility character in the team they naturally buff it kind of like what Ak akron does and maybe there are substats like crit rate and crit damage or attack right excuse me i, I just burped excuse me i burped again <laughs> right um but yeah okay i think I, I went over everything if i'm forgetting something i will say it in the comments or i will i'm gonna leave it out for my acheron guide when that comes out when she comes out now then, let's talk about arventuring and luocha this is gonna be the, the shorter part of the video because it's just it's just listen i'm not your dad you someone for whoever the fuck you want but luocha isn't bad don't get me wrong he's not bad but his issue is that he's pure to his path let's look at acheron acheron's a nihility based character the nihility path quite literally says that they, 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 does it say right here? Paths applies debuff. That's it. And you know, yeah, yeah, just they, they debuff a character. And Akron is a fucking haunt slash destruction slash addition character. And then this fact that she's a crit base unit, right? You have a character like Hoho -Ho, who is in abundance but acts like a harmony. Fu Shuang, she is a preservation, but buffs your HP and gives you crit rate. So kind of like slash harmony, slash, um, I mean, not yeah, just slash harmony, right? Just very minute. She also heals, not a lot, but her kit has healing. If I recall, you oh, and it heals like ten percent of your HP, right? So the issue with that is that Luocha is pure to his path. He literally just heals and he's SP positive, which is cool. Everyone likes having skill skill points and being healed. But with more content, harder content coming to the game, being pure to your path is bad. Kaka, right? That's low key why Zila is slowly but surely getting power 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 crept. <clears throat> ex, ex, excuse me, because she's pure to, to, to her path. Boot Hill, the leaks of him, he wasn't true to his path. Yeah, he's a hunt character, but he does more. For instance, Ratio and Topaz. Topaz is a hunt slash uh, low-key har harmony in my eyes because she buffs, right? F follow up uh, attacks. Her and Ratio are a god team. Damage. What the fuck? Her and Himiko. Damage, right? <laughs> um, and Luocha just, he's not pure to his path. Like, he's cool, but whatever. Right, summon for who you want. Our venturing, right? He literally buffs crit damage if I recall correctly. 
uh, he has a follow-up attack, so he's like an erudition character in that sense, right? That he ha he attacks everyone, right? His ultimate, I believe, is an attack and gives buffs. I don't know the buffs directly because I'm not gonna summon for him, so I for one don't care for care about him. I will be making videos about him when it's when it's his time to shine, but I'm not gonna summon, so I didn't think I I didn't read too much about him, right? I mean, from what I can remember remember from the top of my head, he gives crit da damage buffs. Follow up attacks and buffs you on something else. So he is like a preservation slash harmony, right? And he he does his job well. Like if you seen the the fucking leakers and the videos, like you know five Sam's versus you are Akarad and our venturing. <laughs> Spoiler: He wins, right? So, um, it's kind of you, you're kind of a nutcase if you summon for Luotra over our venturing if you're a free to play, right? And, you know, I'm not even going to mention, like, longevity-wise, because Luocha is dying and Arventurine isn't, right? Like, he will last for, for a while, kind of like Fu, Fu, Fu Shuang. Fu Shuang's going to last a while. And I bet your ass, when another Preservation or Harmony, no, pre Preservation or Abundance character comes out, Fu Shuang is going to come out in the rerun. And, I don't know, in, in my opinion, at that point... <laughs> Fushuang might be a tad bit irrelevant, but not too irrelevant, right? So, I said my 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 case, right? Obviously, this video is more towards. I mean, I spoke more about Jing Lu and Akron because that's a big debate. Luocha and Arventuring. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> it's it's kind of common sense, right? Like, obviously, one's better than the other by a significant amount. With all that being said, if you if you lasted this long um i believe i believe you deserve a cookie I'll, I'll donate you a dollar and you should also type celery sucks in the comments if you have if not um i'm talking to myself because you haven't came to this part of the video i like talking to myself as usual like subscribe comment uh road to 1k and yeah peace